Greetings, my name is Bob Beatty, UC Farm Advisor for uh, Kings County uh, Tree Crops, and I have with me today Chris Wiley of AgriWorld. The lower fruiting wood is in a non-preferred position when it comes to light. The less light it's going to see because of the limbs above it, and the less photosynthesis it has, the less likely it is going to be to survive for any length of time. Through the years this has been pruned heavily down low, so this limb's starting to have no leaf area down here. There's a little bit of terminal bud still left, but you look at the overall picture of this whole limb, and it's doomed. Tend to cut first, that way we won't scar the, the main uh, primary. This is real important, and then you can make your cut, and make, you want to make a nice clean cut. <laughs> So it doesn't uh, break off. It should break off. So it doesn't. You don't want to scar down here. And then you never want to leave enough because then it rots back into the tree. So nice clean cut. Make heals much much faster. Chris correctly initiated the saw cut just beyond what we call this bark inclusion. It, it generates the callus tissue necessary to heal over this wound. Fortunately, pistachios are extremely hardy. This type of cut is not as critical in pistachio as it is in other softer wood trees. On, on the other side of the tree, do the same. The same. <laughs> the undercut is performed about maybe an inch or so out from where the top cut is done. Nice clean cut. Heal two or three years. Even though these cuts are rather severe, there's literally there's no, fruit, no wood fruit wood on this material no at all. No. Uh, the lower half of these pistachio trees of 18 years are largely structural, but there's very little fruit wood down here. As we mentioned uh, earlier, the business end of these trees is in the upper half of the canopy, and so we've removed these limbs. They've served their purpose. Thank you.